Oh shit! Come on, give me a kiss. People love my blowjob face. It's a dictionary of dicks. What's wrong with this? And mostly when I play, I'm like, dur, 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 I'm blowing shit up. We have a self a self jerking machine. That's hot. Oh Mario, stop touching me. I'm your brother Luigi. Pre-recorded live from across these great United States. Sometimes you like to play with other things, but let's play with ourselves. Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. I'm joined with by the <laughs> working <laughs> joint twins. Me Ooh. and my twin, uh, Gamer Pixie two two two. I was gonna call you Super Gamer Pixie for some reason. That's pretty. I like that Super Gamer Pixie. So if we're conjoined, conjoined twins, does that mean like if? Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> it's like well, I mean, like if you drink, will I get drunk too? And I was like, well, I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we'd all stomach. be the same system. I, I would think if you're conjoined mm -hmm. twin, though, I'd be mad if like the other person ate. I'd be like, hey, I wanted to eat that. Now I now I'm full. I'm not gonna eat anything. Fuck you. Did have they ever had conjoined twins of different genders though? I don't think that's uh, well. Wait, because that's identical twins. Yeah, I don't think it'd be possible to have them of um different genders. I don't genders. think so. But we could be the first. <laughs> <laughs> we could do it, baby. Hey guys, what's up? Fucking let's play with ourselves. Episode number twenty-eight, or yeah, right? I don't know. T yeah, right. Probably. <laughs> I keep track. It's been like a Damn. month because we've been busy with things, and yeah, no, it has been a while, and well, we're back to it, I guess. <laughs> Oh, so I was been... I was excited about. <laughs> I was too until Windows. You like until I, now when Windows. I talk to you. Oh, Dude, a fucking another Windows rant here. Fucking trying to start Skype on my comp uh, my computer. I've been recording the last couple episodes on a laptop, but I decided to use my computer because it was an internet problem thing, and this computer's been really good. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna sit down. I'm so ready. Er, got a bottle of water. And then it takes forever to Skype start up, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Scarp, Scarp was working a while ago. <laughs> a while ago. Well, that's not very, you know, uh, what, what would be the word? Reliable if it was a while ago. But anyway, I was like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, like, this nice bubble pops up, and it's just like, oh, Windows 10 is going to restart because we're updating. I was like, oh. Thanks for telling me in advance. Well, I'm, so get, we're here. I'm glad you got it working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somewhat. I hope, like, not, like, 20 minutes into this, it's like, oh, I have to update again, sorry about that. <laughs> You're like, uh, fuck you guys. <sighs> so what's been up with you, man? What's been good? I haven't actually talked to you over Skype for a while, so. Uh, let's see, for a few weeks I had my nephews in town, they were staying here, so that was really cool. I, I didn't do much Let's Playing during that time. Uh, I did... Because they were spending a lot of the nights here, some they'd stay at my sister's, so I didn't want to record at night and keep them up. That's what I normally record, and I didn't want them learning new adult words that I use in my <laughs> videos anyway. So for the first time in maybe years, I've just spent time playing games just for me without LPing them. So I've been playing a lot of Mountain Blade with the Floris mod, and I might actually LP that again, because the mod makes it such a better game. And then I've been playing Seven Days to Die... Uh, the zombie survival game. I'm not really into zombie games usually, but me and Lauren have been playing with that, which is kind of cool. What kind of game is that? Is that like overhead, first person? What is that? It's first person. I mean, you, there is a third person mode. It's kind of like if you took Minecraft and look at, made it more adult and put zombies in it. Does it have the same art style as Minecraft? No, no, no. It, it's oh, it's okay. much more bleak and kind of adult and pseudo real world worldish. I'm completely surprised to hear that you're playing that. Uh, yeah, that's not normally my type yeah, of game. Yeah, it's not your, your <laughs> but, norm. But it was like on sale on the Steam Summer Sale, so I was like, and Lauren likes those kind of games, and I was like, well, do you want to try it? She's like, yeah. And so it's been kind of cool. It's been interesting. I mostly, because I've been really stressed about work stuff, is I just dig ditches in it. She's like, we can dig a moat around the house we're building, and that's all I do. I'm like, this is safe, simple, repetitive <laughs> work. Just going to go dig my moat. Going to dig my moat for hours. <laughs> It's the best. It's so calming, and you're like, it is. you actually get something done, so you're like, yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's like, it's one of the few things in life you have control over, and it's like repetitive. I can count on it. Digging your own grave, yes. 
yeah, that uh, actually a lot of the time in the game that happens because zombies will drop in and kill me because I'm not paying attention. I'm too busy like in my moat world digging. I'm like, yes, so nice. Can you actually like hear them walking around or are they pretty quiet? Uh, normally you can hear them walking around. You definitely can at night because at night they run and stuff. But mm -hmm. normally, I don't know, I've had a couple times where like a dog will drop in the trench behind me and I'm not paying attention or a zombie doesn't just kills me. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm just trying to dig here. <laughs> like, what did that ever do to you? Yeah. Nothing, apparently. So that's mostly what I've been up to. This week I've been doing Let's Plays again because my nephews left late last week. So I did a bunch of Tug Dick. Oh, that sounds fun. Last mm. night, <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, mostly that. What have you been up to? Uh, I have been really, uh, what's it called shirking my LP duties, I guess you could say. <laughs> Are you um, gonna get like court martialed for that or something? For uh, what is it, dereliction of duty? Maybe, I don't know. Like, it's all a battle in my brain. I was really considering, it's just so funny, I was considering quitting for like a lo the longest time for like a week <laughs> and it was really stressful because I was like how am I gonna say this what am I gonna do so I wrote down this like script of like what I wanted to say and then I was like oh I should finish that Alice LP because I was gonna finish it and then do the vanishing at Ethan Carter because I promised that and then I was editing I was like oh I'm not too bad at this I guess I'll just keep going <laughs> um so that was like a really big really big thing and what else have we been up to? Oh, dude, it was so sad. A couple of weeks ago, I found this bat and it was like dying. And I was all, oh no, this bat is suffering. Cause it was doing that thing where it's like, <gasps> and it's like trying to crawl and it's squeaking and just making these ungodly sounds. And I was like, w what's wrong with it? Cause you know, maybe it had like rabies or something. It was just dying. And my mom was like, oh no, it got caught in this trap, because we have this wasp trap, and unfortunately the um, bat got caught in it. And I was like, oh god, like, it's just it's just there, it, it's dying. And she's like, yeah. And she just kind of walks away, and I'm like, I need to, like, this isn't fair, I have to kill this thing. So I take a hammer, and the bat is in bat ha heaven now, and I have to say, dude, it's it's... I wasn't too sad. I actually laughed because I was like, whoa, I never thought I'd be doing this like a crazy person. But that was that was a couple weeks ago, and I'm still kind of like, oh, for bad. That's sad, but if it was dying, it sounded like you did the right thing to put it out of its misery. Yeah, I guess. The thing that got me all like weirded, though, is that I was like, okay, I'm going to take this bat. I like somehow got it on a fly swatter, like a spatula. I used a like, spatula, and it got this bat. I was like, I got to do this somewhere where the ground is hard and there's concrete all around my mom's like don't smash it on the concrete I'm all okay whatever so I went out and there's this tree stump and I was like oh I can do it there so I got really fucking pissed because when I did it the tree stump like completely almost like obliterated because I used a sledgehammer and I was kind of worried I was like did they kill the bat at all and then I looked and I was like oh yeah it's dead but the grossest thing I hit the tree stump and it exploded and there's like these giant giant black ants just displaced Ursing everywhere. They're just like flying and fucking running around and they're freaking out and I was just like, whoa, what an adventure. <laughs> well, from their perspective, they're probably just like, hey, it was another day at the Atten Colony. Oh my god, the roof just <laughs> collapsed. And then if they can hear, I'm not sure, like I just fucking was so mad. I started swearing because I was worried I didn't kill a bat, you know? Like I didn't want to be like, oh bat, let me put you out of your misery. JK, I'll just like make you feel worse, but... No, it, it was it was done. The D was done, and uh, that just that kind of upset me a little bit, but not too bad. I can understand. Okay. It would throw me off too. It's never fun when you have to put something out of its misery. Mhm. Mm Except for like, I did laugh a little bit because the ants after is mad. I was like, "What the fuck? Why are these things so gross and big? And you ruined it for me." <laughs> What do you mean, ruined it? Were you like, this is a special <laughs> moment with me and the bat? Well, yeah, it was like, you know, in the, like, the parts in the movie where they're like, it's kind of like Old Yeller, where he's like, I gotta shoot it, and it's like, really sort of intense, and you're in the zone, because you don't want to do it, but you like, have to do it, and um, to, to, to be like, totally honest, though, it wasn't that intense, it was just mildly like, oh, you know, 
So I was like, I'm just gonna put it out of misery and be done. And I, ants really grossed me out, so to hit it like that, and then just a ton of ants to come flying out of the thing, I was like, oh, gross. And I just was, I just, it, I didn't want to have two stressful things at once, or two things that I find disgusting at once, like, you know, killing something and then ants flying everywhere. No, I can understand that. And anything where you're like, oh, I'm doing something, all these bugs flew out all of a sudden is a little creepy. It is really creepy. So that happened. I did participate in the Steam sale. I bought Vanishing the Vanishing Ethan Carter for someone they wanted me to play that. And I also bought um, Condemned Criminal Origins. And I was like, wow, it's been forever since I played this game. And um, the Steam version is glitchy as fuck, dude. It's so bad. Yeah, like, there's this part where the animation is a guy, like, banging against a window. Um... And he's an actual enemy, but that's just something he's supposed to do. And when he banged on the window, he, like, fused with the wall and then, like, came halfway through the window. And then I was able to kill him in between the window. Which, you know, it was fun to watch, but I'm like, oh, you're so breaking my immersion, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Other than the glitches, are you having fun with it? Uh, sort of. There's, like, really annoying glitches. Like, there's a lot of trash on the ground. And I'm pretty sure in the Xbox version, you can still sprint if there's trash, like... Um, cause there's like a sprint meter, you know, you get tired, but in the PC version, I try and sprint and then when he, there's trash, he like slows down. Like he goes back to walking pace and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to sprint up and down stairs, but in the version I'm playing, you can't do that. And it's really fucking annoying cause he walks super slow. So I don't think I'll be finishing that, but it was only $3. So I was like, oh, whatever. It's hard to argue with that. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it really sucks, but $3, I mean, I don't know, and it's like, what do you call it? I don't want to say, it. the word isn't a port, is it? Uh, yeah, it can be. Is it? Yeah, because it's a port to the PC for an Xbox 360 game, so it's kind of like, you do roll the die there, dice. <laughs> so yeah, killing bats, playing... Shitty games! No, I'm playing good games. I haven't touched Indiana Jones in a front machine because I don't want to. Oh, I don't. <laughs> that was one of those things. I was like, if I quit, I'm not finishing that LP. I love how the moment you said shitty games, that is what you thought of that game. Oh, yeah. No, and it's just. Oh, God. I just don't want to, dude. It's so much work. It's like. It's a chore. But, it, but it's weird because as soon as you sit down and play, it's like. It's golden. When you start talking, you're just like, this is really fun. And, um, that's about what's been happening with me. I got a new job, which I do orientation. It's supposed to be tomorrow, but now it's on Saturday. And I can't wait to see the training video for this place, because I've never worked here before. I always feel like when you watch training videos, you're kind of like entering a secret society, and that's your initiation. Because no one else sees it, unless you work there. Well, that's a much more positive way to look at it. I remember when I worked at KFC watching their training videos, and they were so bad, and that wasn't what I thought. I was just like, uh, how am I going to remember all this stuff? Because like, the first day, they're like, here's a million things to remember, and I'm like, I'm never going to remember any of that. Oh, yeah. Do they do, like, uh, I don't know if it was Wendy's, but they're like, don't use the cup to um, scoop the ice. you got to use this little metal thing to put the ice in the cup, and then they're like, don't fill it to this line, do it to this line if they're having soda. It was, like, really fucking weird. I don't remember, because that was, like, a long time ago. That was, like, back in the 90s. Oh, yeah? Well, I remember when I worked at Safeway, they had a training... Or, like, yeah, their orientation was... Their video was so fucking weird, because it was, like... It was one of those, like, from the perspective of the customer thing, and it literally is just, like, this woman comes home... And she goes in the kitchen and she has groceries. And for some reason, they didn't show, like, Safeway bags. They just had, like, uh, paper bags covered with plastic bags, you know? Because they probably had a different logo on them. And she's, like... (laughs) I don't know. I guess they rented a kitchen in a real house, but they couldn't afford Klieg lights. So they used, like, natural lighting. And it's dark. So it's, like, really weird. And she comes in and she's like, Oh, help me, kids, with this groceries. Her kids come up and they're helping her and they're like, How was your time at the grocery store? And then she unrealistically, like, it's really, it's fucking creepy, too. She starts describing, like, 
uh, oh, it was really good. The aisles were so clean and everything was organized so nice. I could see everything. And if I had a question, this very nice person, it was like, this very nice courtesy clerk helped me out. And she had a uh, fucking name tag and it just helped so much. It made me feel so comfortable and I could, I could thank her personally. And I was just like, no one fucking, no one <laughs> says that. Who does that? Like, unless you're fucking like a secret shopper and you're going to be like, this one shall live. I'm not going to fire this person. Um, no one does that, and I just, it's, the ambiance of the video is hilarious, because then her sister comes in, and she's like, I bought cookies, and the lady said, if she asked me if I wanted napkins, <laughs> like, what? Because it's up sailing, you know? So, well, sorry about that. What the fucking fell? Oh, never mind. Sorry, that was just in my head. Something fell, and I thought it made a sound, and then it didn't. Oh, I thought I heard a noise, so. Oh, fuck, dude. No, there those things are always very unrealistic. I mean... I don't know. When was the last time you came home and you are like, Oh my gosh, family, if a lady at the front desk was so nice. Like, yeah, you, you might be like, yeah, well, she was really nice. But you're not going to be like, and she had everything organized and her tie was straight. You, you know, like those obvious hints. Especially I don't normally, but if I go grocery shopping tomorrow, maybe I'll call you up and tell you all about it that way. Oh, you should. I will sit in my fucking dimly lit kitchen. <laughs> Hold in some, like, some sort of grocery items. Just be like, how nice was she? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah, no, it was just, it was fucking weird. It made me laugh really hard, because what really just, it, what really sent it home for me was the fact that the kitchen had no light in it, and it was just, like, fucking creepy. It's like, it was so fun. So fun to be at the grocery store. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. I, I hope that when I worked there, I made someone go home and be like, oh, she was so nice. It's possible, though, because people have that reaction with you. People would always have the opposite reaction with me, because I was pretty indifferent, or I didn't care, or I was rude at times. Dude, I was so anxious back then that I think I, like, was... It was incapable of me... Incap yeah, of me to be, like, uh, fucking indifferent like i was just such a people pleaser back then there, there's some creepy stories like when i worked at the grocery store um there was this guy this old man who'd hang out in this cafe part of the grocery store and he would always like flirt with me in a way you know like that old man like how you doing sweetie and stuff and i'd be like oh hi <laughs> and you just like you know whatever friendly talk and i remember a couple times i'd go to work and not wear makeup because you know whatever didn't want to wear makeup that day and he wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> he wouldn't talk to me when I wasn't wearing makeup. And I thought that was hilarious. Like, that made me laugh whenever I would see him. I'd be like, that's... Because how obvious is that? That's just... I don't know. It's funny. And it wasn't a coincidence? I mean... No. Like, because I would... I tested it out. I wore makeup. Um, I would alternate. Like, this happened for maybe four days. I'd alternate. Like, I wear makeup when we're makeup. Like... And those times I wasn't wearing makeup, he wouldn't talk to me. And I would say hi to him, and he would say hi to me. And I don't know if it's like... I'm pretty sure it's just because I didn't look as attractive to him. Um, but my other theories are, like, I look like a... Not a 12-year-old, but I look really young when I'm not wearing makeup. But he's not, maybe... not, I mean, unless he was, like, nearsighted, he's not going to be like, Oh, I don't know who you are. It's not like you're Clark Did... Kent with glasses. I don't know. you got to say, like... I don't know, dude. Like, I guess I would look different. I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe, but... maybe I've never seen you with makeup on. Maybe if you put it on, I'll be like, I don't know who this is. Who's this? Where came her pixie go? <laughs> See, that's the best thing about that. Like, I'd love to like go to your house, talk to you without makeup, and then be like, "What's that over there?" And you turn around, and I just put on makeup real quick, and you turn around, and be like, "Where'd my friend go?" You probably scream and just start like hitting me. <laughs> well, that, I might do that anyway, but you never know. <laughs> you turn around and hit me anyway, regardless. See, Paul's fair. He's not like that creepy old dude who wouldn't talk to me when I wasn't wearing makeup. Paul will freaking smack me up, regardless of what I, my face is wearing that day. No, seriously, but that was that was really weird. I'll admit, I but don't, I don't get the concept of makeup. It's probably because I'm a guy. I just can't imagine. I wouldn't, like, on a hot day, I wouldn't want shit all on my face, you know? Yeah. Well, see, that's what I would do. Like, sometimes at work, I'd just be like, dude, this is... Well, one, it just wasn't really worth worth it because people, most people were like, 
you know, they didn't really care. I wouldn't wear makeup because people cared, but there is this thing, like, this is the sad truth. When you wear makeup, it sometimes it makes you not only look more appealing, but it kind of makes people more, like, uh, what's the word? Like, I don't want to say receptive, but yeah, it does. So you'll get, like, different reactions Receptive to your lady advances? You're like, mm-hmm. oh, old man. Mm. Mm, can I bag, can I double bag you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying he was ugly? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, I, he's got a big cock. I don't know. Oh, I thought you meant bags on the head because he was ugly. Oh, no. I meant, well, we can do that too, probably. <laughs> we have to, like, put him in a bag. See, this is how I'd have sex with this man. I put him in a giant body bag, put him on the bed, then get a guy I do want to have sex with, and then have sex next to him. And then I'll be like, can you just feel the sexual energy, old man? I'm sure it's Poor great. Poor guy. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking won't talk to me when I'm not wearing makeup. Doesn't deserve. Okay, fair enough, maybe he doesn't deserve the gamer pixiness, but that's still, that'd be horribly cruel. Want to come back to my place for some fun in a bed? Get in this bag. Okay, now what? Wait, why is the bed shaking? Oh, no. <laughs> Could always simulate sex next to him. I'm, I'm sure that's actually happened before. Not with me. Maybe the old man, though. Hired a hooker, and she's like, okay. Should lie down next to him and just start, like, moaning and stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Another work story. I was walking and I wasn't fucking looking. And I was like power walking and I was looking behind me. And I guess a guy was doing the exact same thing. And I like smacked into him really, really hard. And I fell back. I fell on the ground and I was like, ah! You know, made some cute girly sound. And they looked down and it's this fucking, like, amazing person. <laughs> he's huge. And he's like, oh, let me help you out. And I was like, whoa. And then I bruise on my face the next day. Did you land on your face? Or did he pick you up by the face? Oh, uh, that would be so cute if he, like, leaned down and cupped my face and just, like, whoa, and lift me up by my face. No, we were literally, like, the guy was taller than me, so, um, I hit, like, his, uh, like, his arm, sort of his shoulder, just a little below his shoulder. And we were both looking the other way, and I swear to God, like, we hit each other so hard, um... That it did throw me to the ground, but I got bruised on the side of my face because I, like, ran into his shoulder. And, yeah, he was just a cute guy, and I was I was really embarrassed, but he was, like, so... He was so nice and cute, and the funny thing is that, like, he, he was not phased at all. I went flying after I hit him. It was, like, <laughs> it was so... He was just, like... Looks down and is smiling at me, giving the cutest, like, endearing smile. And I'm, like, fucking flying back, just like, ah! And I was holding stuff, too, so it, like, made a loud sound. He's just like... I I swear to God, you know, I I can't speak for him, but his smile was just like, you're so cute. And that made me feel better after getting hit in the face, but... It's a shame you didn't have that recorded. That probably would have been an awesome video. Oh, yeah, it would have been... I guess, like, it would be me, like, not looking at him and then just, bam, like, falling over. But that was back when I had the, like, shittiest phone. It it was, like, (laughs) singular, I think. It's like a singular phone. Rather than multiple phones? Good job. Thanks. (laughs) Pat on the back for Mr. Comedian (laughs) over here! (laughs) No, uh, no. It took me a second. I was like, no. Isn't that so many of our conversations in podcasts where I'll say something like that and you just, there's Gamer Pixie silence, (laughs) just like, "Mm." (laughs) Mm mm-hmm. Well, it's one of those, like, jokes that if I was there with you, I would, like, you know, not aggressively, but I might, like, punch your arm very lightly. (laughs) Just be like, fucking, come on, come on! Like, because I love it. Like, don't stop. Um, <laughs> can you imagine, like, having sex with someone? They're like, no, really, I love it. Don't stop. <laughs> like, they're just really chill. Like, no, I'm serious. I mean, not sound like it. But I am 100% enjoying. That's how I am with non-sex things with people. And they don't get that. Like, I'll hang out with someone and I'll be like, I'm having a really good time hanging out. And then they'll be like, do you like even like hanging out with me? I just told you I did. Why don't you listen? <laughs> ah! Because it's like, I don't know. You want to throw you a fucking parade? (laughs) Just want to see that sweet smile. There you go. (laughs) Yeah, want to hear that too. You fucking 
Freak! No, um, yeah, so, crazy work stories, dude. That's not really crazy, but... I don't can't think of, like, a crazy... Oh! When I worked at Subway, I was making a Philly sandwich, no, pastrami, and... <laughs> and I burnt my hands really fucking bad on it, and I threw, like... I didn't mean to throw it, but I, um, dropped the meat on the ground, and I'm usually really good about the burning, but it actually burnt through the plastic glove. And I was like, ah! And then I looked up at the guy who I was making the sandwich for, and he was like, I didn't really notice what he, you know, like, I didn't get a good look at him, I was just listening to him talk. And I looked up, and he's like this fucking, like, prospector. <laughs> he's just, and he was like... Like an old-timey one? Because you do live out in, uh, like, old-timey prospecting oh, yeah. land. Totally, like, right out of the book. Like, was it, um, fucking 1849 or whatever. Uh... Yeah, no, totally. And I, like, I was trying not to laugh. Because I was laughing at myself for, like, being so clumsy. Because usually I can endure the burns because I've done it before. But he... <laughs> I looked up and I didn't get a good look at him. I was just staring at him. My boss was there and I, I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he, like, made the most, like... And it, then it he like took out his book. pan and pan for gold. <laughs> right there. I know. He just, I was expecting him to be like... Mm, and then smile and then have a gold tooth and stuff. But and he, he just rolled made this... his, rode his mule out of there. <laughs> he did. We made him a like what do you call him? We made him like a ton of sandwiches, the snack platter, and he just put it in his little fucking rucksack thingy. Yeah, no, he just he like made a rude grunt, and I was embarrassed, but not really. I just was surprised, and I think he noticed, and he was a little offended because my I think my eyes like fucking stretched beyond what's normal, because I was just, like, trying not to laugh at him. What was going on at Subway where you're regularly burning yourself, and you're like, yeah, I burned myself, but I kind of <laughs> could deal with it. Mm. Well, okay, so there's this toaster thing, um, this toaster oven, and it has this, like, flimsy plastic uh, baking apparatus thing where you, like, put the sandwich on there. And then you, like, flip it in with this special sp spatula. So basically, what you would do is just like, do that, and then heat whatever up is in there, blah, blah, blah. And when it comes out, the sandwich is on parchment, so you can easily, like, move it about. And usually what would happen is you, your fingers would come in contact with that cooking apparatus, that, like, plate, while you're trying to pick the sandwich up. And it was always so hot that it would, like, if you weren't careful, it would burn through the glove and then, like, burn you. Because the gloves are, like, cheapy plastic stuff. They're not, like really good or anything so that ju that just would happen a lot i'm having trouble talking today <laughs> well it was probably a painful memory so yeah it was good though like because it always made me laugh when it happened and it was funny what? to be like hot 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 and well because you're just thinking like no one no you, you're one going to have there. to come back and listen to the podcast because this is you you're like yeah i burned my fingers but it made me laugh <laughs> I had to put a bat out of his misery, but then I laughed. Like, oh. <laughs> I know, it makes me sound like sadistic or something. No, well, the reason I laughed about the bat is that I never thought, like, I would be in that situation. And I was also ready to be, like, really, not, like, satisfied, like, oh, yeah, I killed a bat. But more like, oh, this is gonna end. So when I hit the thing and then to happen, I laughed because I was like, well, fuck, that was, like, a big build up and then I was disappointed but this the sandwich thing it's just funny because no one you don't think like when you go to subway that your order might be actually burning people's fingers like you just don't and I thought that was funny in like retrospect the last time I went to a sub place like that it, it was actually on a date when I was in Canada many Ooh. years ago and like I had toasted like a uh, sub and I didn't think then that they might have been burnt and I just realized all the dating stories I think I tell have to do with food <laughs> Oh, yeah, I noticed that. Last time it was, like, what, <laughs> strawberry shakes and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, mm -hmm. that one I had, like, this really good, like, chicken teriyaki sandwich. Ooh. Oh, so good. Damn, dude. See, if you get a date, you have to take me, too, because, like, I'll fucking eat everything. <laughs> and then that's your memory, like, if you break up, <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah, my friend was there and she ate everything. But like, hey, girl, I'm dating. Gamer Pixie's coming along, too. They'll be like, what? <laughs> Be like, what? Who is she? I'm like, don't worry, she's strictly here. If you, if you got any bats Eat. that need putting out of their misery, she's got mm -hmm. it. If she's dressed as a giant bat, dude, that's bad, dude. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and come her. back, and her head's gonna be smashing. What did you do, Gamer Pixie? <laughs> she was squeaking, and she looked like she was in misery. 
<laughs> she was a zoo bat. It was for the convention. No. Oh no. What? So now she can never go... give me head. Cause you smashed her head. Oh. oh. <laughs> Good one. Oh, that's my fucking book that I haven't created yet. Anyway, <laughs> um, no, but like, wait, 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 but most important part of that entire situation, despite the whole head bashing, is the food. Girlfriend, yes. What were you eating? Yeah. Were you eating what? Would it bats eat fruit? Yeah. B bugs? Were you eating bugs? Oh, you gross fuck, dude. Well, she would have been the one just like the bat. I would have had, like, chicken wings or something. <laughs> chicken wings? Dude, that would be kind of kinky if you eating were eating chicken chick wings? <laughs> you are easy to satisfy, lady. Oh, dude. Dude, that's the thing, though. Like, you never know. When you go on a date if somebody's like, chicken wings, you're like, oh, yes. Ooh, chicken wings. Now, I've got some just... wings you can nibble. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> It's just the symbolism is so erotic to me. The, um, fucking batter fried destruction of someone's freedom. What? I don't know, I feel like wings mean, like, freedom, and then uh, if you're fucking, like, fried them, then you can't fly with burnt wings. I'm like, it's tasty, and you're just like, no, it symbolizes clipped wings and the loss of hope. Aww. That's a good, I like you're so poetic about it. I'm just like... Fucking loss of freedom turns me on. What? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get to the last part. I thought you were being all like um, really deep about it. You're like, yeah. No, dude, Tie I'm me up like... and call me a chicken. <laughs> call me a buck for me. I'm going to make some eggs. <laughs> God. This has gone too far. Mm. This water is so good. I'm sorry. I'm not as professional as Super Paul Boy here. I, I wouldn't say I'm very professional at much of anything, so. You're pra pra, Baba. <laughs> I don't even know what those gangster words are. I'm not going <laughs> to join your crips. Sorry. I. You, oh, well, you kind of. What? Am I already oh, in no. a gang? Oh my god, the after school <laughs> specials were right. You're not you careful you join using... a gang. No, it's just my brain was working fucking slow as hell. Because you were like, I ain't going to join the Crips. And I was like, huh, brother, you already. And then I was like, wait, no, you're wearing a red shirt. So you're bloods anyway. <laughs> Guess we're immortal enemies. I'm wearing blue shirts with red on them, though. Blue shorts. Sorry. The you don't have to apologize thing. for what you wear. It's all good. No, I'm sorry. It's totally offensive. I want to dress so the man in the cafe will notice me. <laughs> what a fucking, na <laughs> like, weirdo. I don't understand any of that, so... I think it's... A, that's so fucking weird. It's a perfect example of, like... I don't know. Just someone liking you for some sort of physical thing. Only. Did it ever happen where you work? Did this lady keep on driving through KFC and be like, Let me see your beautiful... <laughs> face and then like you did something different with your face that day and she didn't talk to you she didn't even look at you she just gave me the money and grabbed the bag and like drove away no when i worked at uh, kfc i worked in the back most of the jobs i've ever had i've worked in the back and tried to avoid people so yeah that sounds so nice like i've always worked up front with people and it's not like it just takes a ton of energy and if you don't have to do it why you know if you like it i'm not against like i'm not saying you shouldn't do it especially if you like it but I personally don't. I had a job once where the boss grabbed my ass. That was kind of weird. Dude, that's totally sexual harassment, dude. That's, like, fucked but I mean... <laughs> fucked butt. <laughs> fucked butt. So this is gonna be weird, um, but did she, like, um... Was she, was she hot? No. Oh. See, and I know some. that's such a weird subject, because people are like, well, it doesn't matter if they're hot, and I'm like, well, sexual harassment is, like, it's wrong, and it's inappropriate in the workplace. No, 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 depends. but I, I get what you're saying. Like, if I was yeah. like, oh, she's hot, and I'm attracted, I'm okay with it, then it would have been different mm -hmm. to be like... They would have been different. Well, I said old lady grabbing my butt. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what the fu What? I can't believe you had someone... Yeah, it was weird. It was only one butt. time. If it was more times, like, not, you not that you should ever put up with it, but I was just like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just weird. Fucking surprised as hell. Did you lay an egg at that moment? And she grabbed you and you're like, Bark! <laughs> You know how, like, if you pick up a frog, it'll, like, pee to, and freak out and try and get away? Yeah. It would have been horrible if when she grabbed my butt, I shit myself in. Oh! <laughs> it's like, serves you fucking right, lady. <laughs> 
What if that was her turn on though? Uh, what if she's like she grabbed you with both hands. You no, know, for that a moment like, there, I had a, like leaned in. I thought it was really funny that idea, and then you had to just ruin it for me. I got to enjoy it I'm for like thirty sorry. seconds. Sorry, I had You're to like, kill what your if that's comedian thing? boner. Yeah, dude, because she just leans in behind you. Is like I've never found a man who would do that. <laughs> But I've always dreamed. <laughs> oh, and she just starts like squeezing your ass and then grabbing the part where the doo doo is. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> fuck, dude, this is gross. No, that's the but best. She... That's the best line I've heard in a long time. Grabbing the part where the doo doo is. <laughs> uh, this is one of your simple words, dude. Simple fucking baby words. <laughs> Mm. The do do. How do you do? Uh, uh, Are you writing that down? No. I'm, I'm, well, I, I might. No. <laughs> I might make that part of the title of the podcast. We'll see. That's a little long, but. I like the title you gave the last um, episode. We were like, "Lay on me." Oh yeah, because you're like talking that. about how you just want people to lay on you, and I was like, "That's a little mm-hmm. interesting." It's that weird, like. Well, I think I already talked about it, but. Yeah, it's just that weird, like, you want to be touched, but you don't want any sort of, like, fucking sexual shit. See, this is why people don't like me, especially if they want to do me, is because I'm like, oh, yeah, dude, touch everywhere. And then when they're like, oh, did you just have sex? I'm like, fuck, no, I don't want to have sex. And they're just like, I don't get it. You totally seem like you did. Like, no. See, they, they forgot the chicken wings. Then I'd be like, clothes are off, lying down, being like, mm, eat that chicken wing. <laughs> With a body bag on the bed. <laughs> Is there somebody in there? No. Yes. I think there's somebody in there. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, no. so what? So what if there's someone in there? It doesn't fucking matter. They're in a bag. You can't see them. <laughs> it's like they're in a different room. They're in a portable room. They just happen to be on the bed. Seriously, they might be dead for all we know. So that's even better. And then someone would be like, what the fuck? I'd be like, no, nah, it's just my old... My old crew here. <laughs> Zip. It's like a rotting old dude. Oh, I was hoping like three people would come out like that when you said that. And they're like, yo, what up? <laughs> do, 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 do. That'd be cool if I had like crazy clowns in a body bag. I'm going to be scared to ever go to your house now. Ants everywhere, giant hornets everywhere, dying bats. Dead people and clowns <laughs> and body bats. bags. Just like, oh. See, everything's natural except for the clown part, so you don't really have to worry about it. Except for the clowns, I mean. But I don't have, like, a clown gang, which would be... I, I don't know, that would be cool to be a member of a clown gang. As long as they didn't look freaking, like, stupid, ridiculous. They actually look scary. <laughs> How would a clown game gang not look stupid? Well... Yeah. Well, I keep, like, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't want to say it, because ICP is fucking garbage, but I love them. I really do. Um, but something like that, but a lot more, like, serious. I was watching Akira, um, which I I don't think a lot of people will know what that is, but if you do, that clown gang was pretty fucking scary on the bikes and stuff. So maybe something like that. (laughs) Maybe I just want to belong to something. Can you just not judge me? Good luck with your clown gang. Oh, thank you. See, this boy, my boy Paul, is so supportive. Do you ride around on, like, big tricycles with, like, horns on them? <laughs> well, we can't do a horn fucking sound to save our lives, no. dude. <laughs> <laughs> we both fucked that up. Now I sing the, the bell. Shing, shing. That thing. That sounds like I'm sharpening a knife. Shing, shing. One thing I've noticed is, like, when... I've, I've noticed this for years. When you do Let's Plays, you have an amazing mm-hmm. ear for, like, really crappily done sound effects. You'll be like, oh, this is the sound effect that was in these other games. I'm like, how in the mm-hmm. world does she know that? Dude, I don't know. because well, I'm a weird... Like, sounds are... I don't know. I'm a very audio... I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm literally that person that, like... I don't want to use this example because it's kind of fucking creepy, but voices can totally fucking, like, turn me on. Like, someone can say a sentence and I'm like, holy shit, dude, that person sounds really fucking hot, you know, like, I'm really attracted to voices. So I'll, like, notice certain sound effects because they create, like, a nice euphoric feeling. <laughs> like, a door opening in Silent Hill 4, that, like, that sound 
It gives me great pleasure <laughs> to hear it. Like it sounds so fucking stupid, but it's true. Like did, did, did you I just remember. like change? Now, now I'm gonna watch your LPs totally different. I'll be like, oh, it's really cool. <laughs> she has that now. So now I'm like, she's getting turned on by that. <laughs> and you know, I'm being a little silly, like turned on, you know. But it's just like one of those things where I'm like, I really fucking like it. And do you have that with like ASMR videos? Um. No, because ASMR videos are little are usually a little too like creepy. Yeah, they are pretty creepy. <laughs> I think a million years ago, I did talk about the sick one where he's like, "I've got you some blankets." <laughs> I was like, "That's fucking weird." But ASMR videos are usually really like dedicated to what it is, and I find that it's like a little too like I can tell it's ASMR. And that kind of bothers me. I, I don't know what... It's like mentally, if I know it's ASMR, and usually I can tell the difference even if I don't know, um, I prefer to listen to like an actual video of someone doing stuff and then just hearing all the sounds that they make. Because um, ASMR is usually a little more quiet, which, you know, I'm yeah. not too much of a fan. But it's funny, you were mentioning the whole sound effect thing. The sound effects, like, it can fucking, like, ruin my immersion in certain things like I, I love watching um like murder mysteries and stuff and sometimes people will, like open they'll open doors right and they'll close them and sometimes i'll hear the fucking sound effect that i've heard in nancy drew like a million times and it ruins it it totally pulls me out of the immersion and mulan does that too there's like this one sound effect they play for plates breaking or like anything breaking and it's so obvious that it's there throughout the movie and it it bothers me like i laugh at it but it bothers me a lot because I'm a very audio person. What about you? No, I'm pretty obtuse. I don't pay attention to most things, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just years of... I mean, everybody has not... things that you get turned on by, like when they call you a dirty <laughs> slut bucket, you know, but... Dirty <laughs> slut bucket. No dirty slut bucket required. Because <laughs> hmm. she's a clean, respectable young Bella. I like how that became a song. Did it? Kind of. Sort of. I didn't sing. You do it. I can't dun, sing, dun, no. Dun, like, like dun, you sing dun, in some dun, of your dun, LPs, dun. and, like, it comes out well. Speaking of which, I've been having a ton of fun watching your um, Alice LP. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's been really freaking fun to play, and thanks for requesting it, because I was like... Well, I mean, it's been two years since you requested it, and finally fucking did it. Oh! Friendship calls! Uh, is this high-fiving? I'm the same way when people sometimes are like, will you do this game? I'll be like, yeah, I'll get to it. And then sometimes it's like, well, two years later. I think it's still, if you're still with me, it's cool. <laughs> You'll see it. Um, yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm glad. It's been tons of fun to play this, and I'm almost done. There's just a stupid maze part I have to get through. I forgot. The game's really linear, and then they have this maze part that's just really, like, it's not hard, technically, but it is fucking annoying. Because it changes the rhythm of the game. And I'm a fucking whiner. And I wanted easy linearism. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> so. But yeah, I'm glad glad you're enjoying my stupidity. <sighs> you're doing a good job. Animal. It's fun. It's funny. <laughs> and I really like the chess part. I love how they designed it. And the game mechanics when you switch to be a bishop. And you have to move like a bishop does. That is pretty clever. I My favorite part of that is, well, one, the music was really good in that level, but my favorite thing about that level was the freaking art design. It's really good. Like, when you look up in the sky and that chessboard is all red and shit. Yeah, they did a cool. sweet job on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a gem of a game. If you can find it on Amazon or eBay and you like that, go buy it. But, uh. So I see you got a piece of paper on your knee, baby. Would you like to do some questions? If I said no, would you still do them anyway? <laughs> no, I'd throw it away if you wanted. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> no, go ahead. I'd be like, what are you game, uh, I'm just drinking some juice. Mm, what kind of juice? Uh, I think it's cherry. Chicken wing juice. You. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm getting fat. That'd get me even fatter. Why are my arteries so clogged? Let me drink some more chicken fat. <laughs> cherry mm, chicken. Gravy. Mm. Mm. Okay, sure. Dr. <laughs> Potatoes. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Mm. Go ahead. What is our questions? Dr. Potato says, Question of the day. The great and powerful Q from the next generation comes to pay you a visit. He tells you that you have the choice of three blessings from him. So mm. I assume you got to pick one. Number one, you will never age and be immune to death. But you can never ever wear clothes again, or those abilities will cease to function. 
So, like, if you're around for a thousand years and then you put on a hat, would you die all of a sudden? Oh, no, I forgot! No clothes! (laughs) They just go poof into a skeleton and fall down. Number two, you have the ability to charm any man slash woman. I assume it means man or woman, not just man woman. Not man woman. (laughs) Just she males into your bed, but will never be able to last more than five minutes. Who lasts more than five minutes anyway before you Um, become exhausted and have to take a nap? Or, or what? You got real quiet there. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I was just thinking about your comment about the five minutes. So. Or number three, you will know all the secrets of the universe, but can never convey them to anyone else except through the medium of interpretive dance. Which do mm. you choose and why? Um, um, I, see, the third one is the most applicable. Like, I could totally do the third one, but do I want to? That immortal stuff being naked is not too bad. <laughs> what the fuck is it? No, seriously, like it isn't that bad if you think about it. All you are is naked, and if you're immortal, people are gonna like treat you like a god anyway, because you're just gonna like go naked. You could show people. You could go down the street naked, and fucking get ran over, and they're like, ah! And you get up, and you're like, dude, I'm still nice. I don't know how that. I'm still works, nice. Though. <laughs> Still nice. I forgive that guy. I jumped out in front of him. I ain't gonna sue. So you're basically a god. Well, like, not a god, but you know what I mean. Half god or whatever. Kind of like a Heracles. Um, so yeah, and then you could, like, I- I'm pretty confident with my sexual abilities, so I'm not sure if I would do the second one. And also, like, I don't really want to have sex with someone unless they, I don't know, like, that just seems kind of weird. Being like, oh yeah, I'll make you want to have sex with me. It's kind of rapey, actually. So I'm not sure if I would do that. Um, I'm a great interpretive dancer. I'm the master of charades. So, I don't know. It's either one or uh, the first one or the third one. What about you, Paul? I'm still thinking. Um, I'd go with the second one, even though it's rapey. I don't think I would actually use it to charm anyone, but I don't like the first one. Because mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to be immortal. I think living forever would be one of the worst hells you could have because you, you're you gonna can always put on I'm just you can put on clothes to kill yourself i mean that is yeah, an option could. that is yeah. an option but the reason is like you, you're gonna watch everything you love die and go away mm-hmm. and i yeah. i've seen enough of that in my life i don't want to live Aww. and see like the, you know all of my family die and my descendants die and my country mm-hmm. fall apart and everything no i don't <laughs> how, re- how relevant and number three, I don't want to know the secrets of the universe for kind of the same way. Like, if you knew the world was going to die in, like, three weeks, and you got to tell people through interpretive dance, you, you know, that'd be a horrible thing to have to live with. Well, I mean, you don't have to tell people, do you? No, no, but you're that. going to live with that knowing that. Oh, I'd yeah, rather just not that. know the future that way. Whatever yeah, happens, be very happens. depressing versus, I think, the first one where you could just kill yourself. Where, and after. whereas, the, like, with the second one, I never have sex anyway, so that's not going to affect my life. <laughs> Uh, you're very. I like how you approached it more of like a safe, actual, like smart. It really shows the difference in um, what's the word? Like you're. I don't. How dark I, I am about everything because every one of maybe. these, I'm like, well, this is the dark part of it. Well, no, like it's very serious and it's actually like something that if this was a serious question, like somebody came down and was like, yo, um. Very good things to consider where I'm just like, I'm confident I can have sex with anybody. I want to get hit by cars and still be nice to people. What the fuck, dude? Like, I don't know. Just be immortal and, like, write. I don't know. I'd like to write history and shit and see things go down and be... So maybe the first one for me. I, I think the first one for me. It would be fucking depressing for Sherzies, but I, you know being a part of fucking history and then like you could live you live to like 120 or something and then you'd still look good and if you just die just put on put on a pair of underwear and <laughs> fucking die dude do gloves count i would think that counts as clothes i guess and then get some when i put on my clothes it creates closure of my life i like then, that yeah Good job. Wait, I guess the other thing about that is if you are a very introverted person, you don't like going out a lot, you can be naked mm-hmm. at home and nobody's going to really know or care. Seriously, yeah. No one, no one. But when that time, when the time comes when we are invaded by someone like the Russians, <laughs> like Red Dawn, then Charlie Sheen looks really <laughs> cute again. Um, like, it'll come out and be like, what? 
then they'll say stoy and I'll hit them with my car because I know how I've been training. Fuck yes. Thanks, Indy. I like that that's where the question led to. I would never have anticipated <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a surprised chicken wing. Would you like me to move to the second question? Oh, please do. Eccentric in Texas. This week's question. Yeah. I recently saw a video of a guy sleeping while his Tesla car drove him in L.A. traffic. If you had a self-driving Tesla, would you be comfortable sleeping while it drove? <sighs> And how far would you trust it to take you on main roads? What about back roads or country roads? Back roads? Depends on the, like, do Tesla cars, are they even built to do that right now? Like, are they... They have an built? autopilot mode. It is in beta. You have to activate it yourself. But, yeah, you can do that. Well, I mean, like, like, I mean, like, structure-wise, you know, because off-roading is better in, like, trucks and stuff. So do they have, like, a structurally, like, sound fucking car for off-roading? Well, I, I don't know how well you'd want to off-road with it. Um, yeah, because I've seen them, and they don't really look like they should be going off-road. <laughs> well, well, you said more back roads than country roads, so, I mean, oh, you still got a yeah. road. Dude, our fucking back roads out here are insane, so that's what I was thinking about. Our back roads are, like, littered with fucking rocks, and it's insanity, dude. Um, yeah, sure, I'd, I'd sleep in it. I'd sleep in that car. I'm a free person. <laughs> What would you do, baby boy? I would not sleep in it, because they're not that far along. I love Tesla. I've been following them since they first did the Roadster years and years ago. And mm -hmm. their autopilot feature is amazing. And this is a really timely question, because unfortunately, about a week, two weeks ago, somebody died in an accident while well, in the autopilot mode. It was a freak accident Aww. where they ended up under a truck, and like a truck crushed them. Oh, God. Damn. But still, the safety record for the autopilot is way safer than people driving themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is still new technology, and it's already safer than people driving. So I would, I wouldn't, it's not at a place yet where I'd sleep in it, but I think that time is coming. And like, I'd, <laughs> coming. I would <laughs> use it on like highways and main roads, maybe some country roads if they were really rough, I would still drive myself. But if I had the money, I would totally get a self driving Tesla and use the autopilot mode. Oh, same here, yeah. Um, wait. What was the question? <laughs> was it, would we sleep in it? Yeah, would you be comfortable sleeping while it drove itself? I wouldn't be comfortable oh, with that, but I'd be comfortable using it for everything driving. else. Just depends on where it was driving, though. Because, like, honestly, if it was just driving, like, it, the roads around here, yeah, totally. I would fucking... If it was in L.A., no, dude, I ain't fucking sleeping. Like, I've driven in L.A. roads. They're horrible. But, um, in Las Vegas, too, dude, I wouldn't do that, but... Here, the yeah. cool thing, though, is, like, ten years from now, there mm -hmm. are going to be tons of self-driving cars on the road, and accidents will most likely go down. Think about how yeah. many people die each year because of drunk driving. That, you know, that can become a thing of the past. Mm-hmm. Um, I just hope, like, the downfall of the robots, they will just start crashing into things. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's always a... You, you can't roll that stuff out. I bet you Eccentric in Texas all that, too. You gotta watch out. I'm not too worried about Skynet, so... I'm pretty worried about it. That part where she holds on to the fucking... She's looking at the playground and they just all burn alive, dude. I'm like, no! That's horrible! This term here, too, by the way, for anyone who's, like, curious what I'm talking about. Yeah. I watched Matrix again recently and I'm just like, fucking robots, dude. I don't know. And I'd feel bad if we made a robot that was, like, really fucking smart. Like, almost conscious. Well, I'm not too worried about that. We are going to have killer robots, though. I mean, DARPA's working mm -hmm. on that. If you've ever seen that robotic cheetah thing that runs around, DARPA mm -hmm. makes defense things. They're making robots that will eventually be military robots. I know, dude. It's crazy. We will be I making don't... the Terminators eventually. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Hopefully they're hot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Make them fucking whatever that guy's name was. Patrick something. Yeah, so. I was more thinking, I hope they never got turned against us, but it, and it would be horrible to be a terrorist or someone who's getting chased down by these killer cheetah robots, and you're like, mm, mm -hmm. I hope he's hot with a robo-wiener. <laughs> robo-wiener. <laughs> Fucking, it'd be so funny if they just, like, skimped on the wiener, so it just... Most likely, if it's, 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 not like going to, it's not going to need one. I mean, it's not like you're going to fuck the you enemy to death. Well, I'm sure someone will make something that does that. <laughs> As dark as that is, I'm nope. sure they will. There probably will be sex robots in the future. Mm -hmm. They already have the sexy doll things, which are... Creepy? Dude, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not a 
against I'm not against it. You know, I respect you. I respect you regardless. You know, you do. Your I don't thing. have one. But what are you talking about? Oh no, <laughs> I'm just talking to the air right now. Oh, I'm talking about me. Everyone's gonna be like, Paul's got a real sex style. No, I don't. <laughs> you You're got like, Paul, I respect mail. you I in your creepy you. real sex. I don't have one. <laughs> I, I can't well, afford so that. that. That totally did sound like I was t- saying you had one. Yeah. Um, no, I was just saying, like, I respect the idea. I don't even fucking respect it. I just, like, accept it and I don't really fucking care. But it is one of the creepiest things in the fucking world. It's just like, oh, God. <laughs> You're having sex with a fucking shell of a corpse. Quit talking about my ex that way. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Fucking! Ah. Uh... Which you should have been eating so you'd remember this moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's probably true if you're like, go get some chicken wings. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Since we're talking about romantic things now, kind of. Master oh. Ian's question, this is the last question. What would be your ideal romantic date? Mmm. A cage where I'm hanging upside down. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> I'm hanging upside down in a cage while I'm being pelted by a chicken wing. <laughs> really hot ones. <laughs> <laughs> Aiming at my breasts. D- oh, dude! Fourth of July. It's a quick story. Sorry. Qu- Go quick ahead. story. I was walking down the hill. Like, we walked up this fucking, like, crazy hill. So we were on the mountain side and we were trying to watch the fireworks and it was fucking stupid and whatever so we were walking down after the fireworks stopped and we found like a ton of scorpions which i haven't seen before yeah i thought it was so fucking cool so we saw scorpions and they were like everywhere and i got a picture of them and blah 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 blah. so we're just walking and a lot of bugs you know it's the forest so there's bugs fucking everywhere and they were like running into me and stuff running into my face and you know i'm not really a bug person so I was walking, and I have this hoodie on, and it's super tight, like it's form-fitting, and the part, you know, it's gonna sound weird, but the part around my breast is like, it's pretty snug against my chest. So I'm like, okay, and I'm walking, and I feel this thing kind of like on my neck, like kind of swoosh on my neck, and I'm like, oh, that's weird, like kind of brushed on my neck, and I was like, whatever, fucking whatever. And then my, um, because I'm wearing a sports bra, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, like, there's lint in my my bra, you know? So I reach down and I, like, try and grab this lint. And I'm like, this is a ton of lint. So I grab it and I throw it out. And I'm, like, removing this lint from my boobs, my breasts. And then I realize it and I fucking, I stopped in the forest. And I let out the most girly shriek of all time. There's giant ass, and I hate these things so much. Um, they're called skeeter eaters or crane flies or some mosquito hawks. A, a giant one, like a nice juicy one, flew down my shirt, and I smashed it on my breasts. <laughs> yeah, and I was so fucking, because I pulled out its abdomen, oh. and I had my, yeah, and it was all, like, nice and juicy, and I'm thinking, there is a bug smashed and rubbed on my boobs right now. Oh, my God. So I went home, and I, I'm like, I gotta take a shower. So I take off, you know, my shirt, getting undressed, and there's, like, the, th- the the thing's legs are, like, on my chest, you know, there's stuff, I know, this is a little- is gross. I don't fucking care, but there's, like, stuff on my nipples, and I'm just, like, freaking the fuck out. I was like, ah! But I laughed, because I thought it was really funny, too, because, like, of all the things. And I was wearing a really tight shirt, too. But, yeah, sorry. So, so now you can officially- s- Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying it had nothing to do with a romantic date, but fucking... Duh, so now bugs. you can officially say that you have killer boobs. Oh, I guess. I don't know. Killer breasts. Yeah, I, I don't know if my... He got killed against my breasts. I'm gonna feel so bad if someone's, like, got their face next to my boobs and they just die for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what? It's the boob killer killed again. He died with a smile on his face. <laughs> That's a romantic date you know we're about to make out it's gonna nibble me and he just fucking dies like <laughs> once again i've killed <laughs> me and the boss that grabbed your butt work together because we have some <laughs> fucking crazy fetishes <laughs> i've never done this to a man before all right well okay i still <laughs> have to think about the romantic date sorry i got sidetracked no that story was worth it. that was a good story Oh, God, it was so fucking gross. 
picking the legs off your boobies. It's a sensitive area, y'all, and when you kill something against it, it doesn't feel- it, it feels weird, okay? I won't say bad. <laughs> hmm. I bet that wasn't a romantic date for that bug. He's probably just like, oh yeah, flying around. Oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> Or he flew too close to the boob sun. He did. I don't know how he fucking did it. The, that's where I'm kind of like creeped out. I'm like, that bug was a pervert because you had to fly so specifically to get in this little, little opening in my shirt. It was so little. And he just... Whoop, in there. He knew he was going to die anyway. He's like, I'm going to die between some boobies. It's not the worst okay. way to go, I wouldn't think. I don't know. I would, like, it's kind of like, I find guys' bodies really attractive, but if I was lying on a man ball being, like, every bone in my body is being squashed and broken <laughs> and shit, I don't know. I'd be like, I, I, just I fuck personalities. This isn't quite as hot as I thought. <laughs> yes, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> ah! Okay, so, what was your romantic f date? Tell me, you're like, Food. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm not a very romantic person. I haven't been on a date in like five years or something. <laughs> so, um, so here I haven't been well, not an in-person date. In date. I, I've like online done online stuff. I would think uh, a b-ball game. That would be. Uh, it wouldn't be romantic. It would just be kind of like, oh, fun b-ball. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun to go to a baseball game. I think I would rather be just stay home and have pizza and talk, as boring as that sounds. Aww. It's because I, I don't really like watching many things. I get bored by watching stuff, and mm -hmm. I don't, I'm rather introverted. I'm like, I just just stay home and get a pizza and maybe some jalapeno poppers or some breadsticks Aww. and just, like, talk and goof around, maybe. That's really sweet. And then you give her a big old kiss. Or him. Well, I like ladies, but whatever. <laughs> You didn't know until you kissed him. You're like, oh, it's a man. <laughs> I've never had that happen, thank God. Since you picked since you picked the seduce, you can seduce people question with the men slash woman, you don't know. You seduce the man woman. So, what was so. your idea of a romantic date or ideal uh, one? I don't know. Uh, waking up and... A mysterious room with a headache. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, d oh, dude, I was thinking about this earlier. It was so fucking depressing. I was, like, standing on the edge of a subway platform, and then someone runs and grabs me, and we both fall together and die. But that was, like, really fucking depressing. That's uh, You have a very low threshold for romantic date, if that's your <laughs> most, like, romantic date. I'm like, this is cool. No, it was literally, like, it didn't mean anything. It was just, the f it was just funny, because, it, like, it was the first... Thing I thought of, so I don't know if I was having like a bad day or something. But when I read that, I was like, "Oh yeah, just tying with someone." I don't oh, know. That See, sounds this so sad. I wish I could give you a hug. There, you're like, <laughs> I just need someone to touch me, even if it's for a second before we get crushed to death by a train. That's funny because like I I couldn't really describe it, but you just described it. It's like, yeah, I want to be touched, but it's that weird threshold of like you want to be touched and have that sort of like oh someone cares enough to do something that i want to do and they're doing it with me but at the same time i don't want to live long enough to deal with that person it's very deep it's how i feel right now i want the benefits and i also don't want to have a relationship ha but then i'm too much of a fucking wimp to do stuff like that so i guess i'll just fall off a train into a train so <sighs> Dude, that was fucking deep shit right there. Uh, I still like the I, concept of they touch you and you're like, this is great! It's enough. Let's die now. <laughs> um, But I'd have to say, like, I, I'm kind of with Paul on this, is that I, I would like something just kind of quiet. Um, pizza is super good. It's... Like, I'm not traditional romance, like, oh, let's go out to a candlelight supper with, like, roses in the middle and all that stuff. Although that would be nice. I think I get a kick out of, like, the other person really enjoying themselves, and I find that very romantic. So you just want to watch them jerk off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Jerk off, like, like, give me that chicken wing. And then you'll just fucking jerk off. Then if he's happy, I'll feel a little bad, because I'll be like, I'm right here, but if that's what he wants to do... I'm, like, won't see him ever again afterwards, but... I did have a woman I dated uh, who made a candlelit dinner once for me. I was like, oh. wow, this is, like, the nicest thing ever. It's nice, though. It is nice, but, I mean, like, as far as romance, like, 
eating pizza, sitting on a bed, eating pizza, maybe watching something, having something on in the background and just talking, like, about deep things and deep things. Balls deep <laughs> things. Yeah, that's a triggering word. I feel mean, like, don't say deep things. And just talking and getting to know someone. I think it's really romantic when people spill their guts. Would you, would you, you sing that Getting to Know You song then? What song is that? I don't getting know. Getting to Know You, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what else. Scoopity Doo. Scoopity Doo. <laughs> Row, right? Getting to Know You. I'm horrible at things. He just like slowly goes down to his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Scoopity Da Bow. Zipper gets caught. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, but romantic as much as just, like, alone and having someone tell you their secrets. Seeing vulnerability is pretty romantic in a nice way, you know. So, yeah, I'm with Paul. Staying at home, eating a pizza, their place, my place, whatever. Maybe getting drunk together. It's pretty nice. Oh, that's good, too. I, yeah, drinks are nice, too. Yeah, drinks are nice, and it, and I don't. I'm not really like one of those people where I'm like, oh, yeah, wine is a romantic drink. I guess kind of like traditionally it is, but I, I don't, I don't care. So yeah, Mister Ian, I hope. What do you do? Were you planning a romantic date with me and Paul? <laughs> 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 You're gonna invite us over to your house. You're gonna have pizza for us and nice little like tea light. Yeah, now if, if if some guy shows up, it's a with, giant doll. So if some guy shows up with a pizza, I'm gonna be scared. I gotta go now. <laughs> <laughs> can can accept your pizza. This master Ian is in the pizza box. Just like Pff. hi. Because as, as far as I'm concerned, Master Ian is a action figure. <laughs> due to his profile picture on YouTube. Yep, due to that. So I guess that would be kind of easy to date. I don't know. Well, do you think it's that time? <laughs> I think it's that time to jump off the train platform. Are you going to join me? <laughs> I'd rather live a little longer. I'll miss okay. you. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, everybody, I'll see you all next week. We're apparently, I, or next week, next time. It's not like we're that regular with the podcast. Mm. <laughs> Is that your dead corpse? <laughs> <laughs> How can you judge me as you're dying? I see everything. Oh. I'm dying. Goodbye, you guys. This is the last podcast. The Gamer Pixie. I'm dead. I'll I'll give you good good reps in heaven. Unless I go to hell. <laughs> Tell the devil not to take you. <sighs> Bye, everybody.